Well, Fernando, on paper this year certainly looks worse than the start of last year. You've not yet uh, you've yet to see a checkered flag. Is it worse than last year? Yeah, yeah, definitely worse. You know, we cannot even participate like uh, today. So, uh, yeah, it's something that is not uh, it's not going right. But uh, you know, nothing I can do. Probably, you know, it's uh, the boss of the teams. They they know what to do with their team. You know, I'm just the driver. I come here. I drive as fast as I can, and uh, I try to help the team as as much as I can. But you know, it's uh, uh, it's frustrating at times and hopefully we can improve soon. If you didn't have Indy on the horizon, um, and a nice distraction for you certainly, would you be a little bit more frustrated? No, I'm the same, you know, my, my life is Formula One, so the other thing is just, you know, like when I go go car or when I go, you know, uh, bicycle with friends or whatever, so there are other targets, other goals, uh, you know, uh, but Formula One is, is, is the main thing, so yeah, we need to hopefully improve the situation soon. Well, Daniel, two races and two brake problems for Red Bull, this time it was on your car, is it the same issue? I'm not sure yet, um, I believe something probably similar. Um, but yeah, we didn't really expect, sure we didn't expect it, but obviously that early in the race as well. So I don't know how much maybe running behind the safety car and, and having two starts hurt that. But um, yeah, it's uh, obviously a bit, bit of a disappointment and just not being able to get many laps today in the race. So it's not something there'd been any indication of over the last couple of days in any of the practice sessions. It's, it's a race specific thing. Yeah, it, it seems so. We, we know this circuit is hard on brakes, but uh, you know, on. We didn't do massive, massive long runs in practice, but at least for what we did, we didn't expect to have at least these issues this early in the race. So I think something else uh, is, is probably um, accountable for that, but uh, but sure, we, we need to address it. It's, as you said, two races in a row, so we'll uh, hopefully uh, get on top of that. Well, I imagine this is the final straw in a frustrating weekend for you. Um, is this a racing incident or was it Jolly and Palmer's fault? I haven't seen the footage, to be fair. On, on the first point of view, it's Palmer's fault. I was on the inside. It turned into me, maybe there's someone on the outside, but someone on the inside needs to be pushed on the outside. There's no room in the inside. So I was on the orange curb, had a really good good start. It was really full of hope going in the race, trying to analyze you know, what we could do better um, and help the guys to work hard for the next race and, and see what we could we could really do. Um, maybe it wasn't point today, but you know, it was 53 important laps and we just got ruined at the first corner. Well, Jolene, you're obviously pretty frustrated. Just explain the incident from your seat. I turned into the corner, turn turn two, and um, I had a Sauber on one side and Grosjean stuck a nose in the in the other side, um, and then I basically got hit by him. So uh, there wasn't a gap there for him. I couldn't. I had a car on the other side, so I was just sandwiched between two cars, and and he kept it stuck in off the track on the inside over the curb and, and hit me. It really has been a tough weekend, hasn't it? Yep, yep. I'm looking forward to going home, uh, resetting, and coming back to Barcelona much better.